Thank you, Mark. Thank you to Tony Watson and Winston Ng for organizing this wonderful celebration. And thank you all for being here. 25 years ago, a small group of financial industry professionals came together to advance a shared vision. They came from different walks of life. They were security analysts, global investors, risk managers, and wealth planners, but all shared a common purpose, to raise the professional and ethical standards of their industry, and to help lead that industry to a brighter, more rewarding future. The world has changed a great deal since 1992. It has digitized and globalized. The flow of information and capital is faster and more seamless today than ever before. Yet, their vision endures, and the organization they founded, the Hong Kong Society of Financial Analysts, is still leading. We're still raising standards, and we're still looking ahead, planning for the next quarter century, even as we pass this evening to celebrate the past one. What a quarter century has been, and what an honor it is to share this celebration with all of you. Our members, our partners, our friends, and distinguished guests. It is because of you, and because of our past presidents, advisors, and leaders like Paul Smith, Nick Pollard, who are with us tonight, that this society has grown and thrived. From humble origins, just a few members, no staff, no workspace except our founder, George Long's office at Barclays. We have become the largest CFA society in Asia and the fourth largest in the world. It is because of you and because of our 6,600 members in Hong Kong that this society is more than a professional organization. We have helped thousands of people become CFA charter holders over the years, supporting one another and strengthening our profession in good times and in bad through the Asian financial crisis and the GFC. But of course, our work isn't finished when someone gets the charter. We work hard every day to invest in our members. We work closely with government officials to advocate for smart policy. And we bring thousands of people together at more than 100 events each year to raise the level of discourse, increase investor education, and promote gender diversity at every level of our industry. So the demographics of our profession will better reflect the diverse population we serve. Most importantly, it is because of you that our future, the future of our society and our profession looks brighter than ever before. Why? Not because the world is growing less complicated, quite the opposite and not because the pace of change is slowing. In fact, it is accelerating. And not because it is getting easier for any of us to serve our clients or tell the difference between risk and opportunity. In this geopolitical environment, our work is as hard as it has ever been. But tonight, I believe our future looks brighter than at any point in our 25 year history. Because our community, led by the people in this room, is stronger than it has ever been before. We have built new partnerships with sister organizations around the world. We routinely share insights with those global partners. And we proudly welcome international leaders to Hong Kong. From Professor Krosna, whom we are thrilled to have with us tonight, to the exclusive speakers 
who will take part in the asset owner series, a partnership with our friends in New York that we'll bring to Hong Kong next year. We will even have the honor of hosting our colleagues from around the world next May when a CFA Institute's annual conference comes to the Hong Kong for the very first time. As our society and our community continue to grow, each of us, as members, as candidates or volunteers, as supporters and sponsors within and outside of the finance industry, will keep growing with it. Take it from me. I joined this society nearly 15 years ago. When I returned to Hong Kong from New York City, the first event I attended was a happy hour, where I was warmly welcomed and invited by our past president, Richard Mack, to share my experience landing a good job during recession. I was only there to meet fellow finance professionals and have a cocktail too. But I quickly found there was a community I wanted to join, one that would support me, enrich my career, and provide opportunities to learn from the best in our business. I never dreamt I would join, later lead the committee, serve on the board, or become vice president, let alone president of this great organization. But this is the path that our supporters, board members, past and present leaders make possible for me. That's why I'm so proud of all we're doing to extend these same opportunities and the same warm welcome to every member of our community and to the next aspiring professional who walks through the door at an international financial week event, a seminar, or even a happy hour. This, in the end, is what tonight's gala is all about. More than celebrating our silver jubilee and reflecting on the achievements of the past quarter century, it is a chance to recommit ourselves to the vision that brought our founders together all those years ago in George Long's office at Barclays. It is an opportunity to ensure that that vision will continue to guide us and shape our bright future for the next quarter century and beyond. So on behalf of every member of the Hong Kong Society of Financial Analysts, I want to thank you all for being part of our past, our present, and our future. I could not be prouder of the last 25 years together, and I hope you share my excitement about everything that the next 25 years has in store. Thank you all, and have a wonderful evening.